what's good everybody it's your boy sbx another hip-hop controversy video coming to you guys now this is not no ordinary shit that i will always talk about but this time i'm going to talk about the rap beef between Nicki minaj and remy ma now i just not caught up to this shit and i saw on facebook and you know some of my friends and also some um hip-hop groups are showing me that there's a controversy going on and a beef between remy ma versus Nicki minaj and i'm like damn see Nicki's always fucking with people all, all the time you know what i'm saying she needs to leave the fucking legends alone so anyways let me go ahead and say you know i already expressed my opinions over the years about how i felt about Nicki minaj so I already know I don't fucking fuck with that plastic silicone titty, silicone ass looking fucking bimbo bitch, but princess bubblegum bullshit music she called rap. I don't fuck with her shit, so I already done stated my opinions about that. So if y'all want to know about my opinion, go back to my previous channel, uh, my older videos. If I still have it, it is there. So you know, go to that if y'all want to know about what I opinion about fucking shitty Minaj. Now, on to Remy Ma. Remy Ma, she is a legend, you know what I'm saying? She's from my city, the BX. And, you know, she was with the Terror Squad, you know, with Fat Joe and Tony Sunshine and them. And, you know, those were the days, you know what I'm saying? And back in the early 2000s, she got arrested for, you know, killing a female, I think it was her friend or whatnot, and she served years in jail. And ever since I think last year or whatnot, I think it was last year, if I'm not mistaken, or this year, because it still feels all the same to me. But you know, I was shocked that Remy is actually free now, and she served her time, and she I think she really feel like she did pay her debts to society. And, you know, now she's free and she gets a chance to, you know, make good rap songs. And, you know, Remy's known for some good bars. And, you know, any rapper from New York will say that, oh, who's a nice female MC besides, you know, a rapper, even though like, you will say KRS-One and Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown or whatever, Remy Ma is always gonna be on also on her A game too. So, you know, of course, you know, back in the days, she did some songs featured, like, you know, the Fat Jones um, Rockaway Lean Back and MOP's remix of Annie Up. And she actually killed that shit, you know. But, you know, I've saw in how she made her other appearance songs and I, I ain't gonna lie, I like some of her shit and Remy got Remy got better over the years, you know what I'm saying? She, she, I feel like ever since she went to jail, it's like she's Remy 2.50 whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that she's doing good and she's married to my, my favorite rapper Pat Pools and you know, and I think that's a good compatibility because they're both good artists and they respect the craftsmanship of hip hop. Now, you know, it's all, that's just how it is. You got good hip hop versus that bullshit bubblegum pussy rap. So that's how it is. You know what I mean? And my whole point was I heard both of their diss tracks between Shitty Minaj versus Remy Ma. And, you know, I, I, as much as I didn't want to hear Nicki Minaj's fucking song, I listened to it anyways to see what she said and whatever she said about Remy, I mean, um, yeah, Remy Ma and how she's being like a cocky, arrogant bitch, basically. So, you know, I didn't want to hear that. And no, I don't want to hear that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because usually shit like this, I will skip. But you want to get to the, you may not want to miss the parts what she's trying to say. Because... You know, I hate subliminal rappers because they're the biggest pussies in the rapping. I, I like blunt and all direct rappers. Like, say what they got to say about their face and don't be a pussy about it. And 
Nicki, Nicki Minaj is being a subliminal pussy rapper. And, you know, and, and on top of that, she's a fucking hypocrite because she was holding her down and, you know, being a chill is like, free Remy, free Remy, and whatnot. And now all of a sudden you want to diss her. That's just how arrogant she is. I don't like her ass. I mean, I'm arrogant too, and I know some people who are arrogant and more arrogant than I am, but there are some arrogance that I'm not going to fuck with, and there's some that I can just leave it there, because, you know, deep down inside, that's just, that's not their attention to be a fucking asshole on purpose. But, anywho, now, Remy, she actually did a freestyle and used the Nas's uh, ether beat. And I like how she did the display of the Barbie doll being broken apart between the arms and the legs and, you know, in the pig wig that represents Nicki Minaj and whatnot. So, I mean, for a while now, we haven't seen her wearing that pink bullshit, which, you know, I didn't give a fuck. But at the same time, so what? She don't wear the pink wigs anymore, but she still sucks. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna change for the damn. But... Like I said, I mean, people will tell you, the industry will tell you how shady Nicki Minaj is. And y'all fucking bitches want to idolize her and be like her. And she has a fake personality, fake ass, fake titties. Why the fuck you want to be with or admire somebody like that? That just go, you're fucking insecure to like somebody like that. And then Remy Ma, I mean, she ain't perfect either. But at the same time, she respect the craftsmanship of hip hop. So, anywho, I feel like, you know, I understand what was the whole controversy between Nikki versus Remy. And, you know, some say it has something to do with Remy talking shit and, you know, I mean, or Nikki talking shit about Remy and got that fame all in her ass and all that other bullshit and, you know, made assumptions that Nicki sleeping with Trey Songs and Ebro and whoever and told the truth about her fucking cocky arrogant ass. As much as I want to believe that's true, I still feel like I am not clear about it. But you guys can leave a comment and tell me what's the real deal with the two of them. And if you're not going to be a dick about it, please let it be. You know, let it, let it stay there and I'll read it. And if I agree with it, Fuck it. But anywho, I feel like Remy Ma will fucking chew Nicki Minaj's ass up because she is capable of fucking of I mean if y'all watched her rap battles um back in the early 2000s at um Fight Club and she battled against Lady Luck, she fucking whooped her ass in that rap battle. So it's like I don't see why the fuck Nicki Minaj wanna go in that route. And it's like, she's trying to follow the same procedure just like her boyfriend, Meek Mills. So, she's actually in the school of taking these L's. So, she's act like, like I said, she adapting into taking these L's. You know what I'm saying? So, Meek Mill and, and, and fucking Nicki Minaj are the loser teams while Pap and Remy are the winners. Like, like I said, it goes to show that it goes between good rappers versus shitty, whack-ass rappers. You know, because I don't even like Meek Mill like that, too. I mean, he had his moments, but, I mean, with him, he's just a straight, he's a straight loser. Because every time you turn around, everybody's dissing him. Like, you got owned by Drake. You got owned by 50. You got owned by the game. And everybody's talking shit about you at this point. Even Cassidy did. And you, I mean, like, that's how I look at it. Cassidy kept dissing this nigga, and what happened? He took those L's. Oh, and then Drake on top of that too. He took those L's. Now, if Remy's gonna follow the same position like her boyfriend, that means they are meant to take these L's together. They're riding the L train. And I'm not talking about New York City train station or whatever state or country that rides the train and has letters in it, but they are taking the L train. They are taking L's. Like, Straight up, and I'm not talking about smoking a Lucy, puffing an L. They taking these L's. So, I mean, my opinion is this: Remy will fucking dead her ass. She will 
body her ass just like she bodied that girl back in the early 2000s so that's how she don't play that shit so anyways folks i'm done here let me know what y'all think about this calm topic here y'all can leave your love y'all can leave your hate it's all good so anyways folks sbs wrapping this shit up thanks for watching peace out